Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Hey there, this is KY4BDP Brian for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association YouTube channel. Have you ever been sitting at your base station? You've been participating in nets, maybe you've been uh, just hitting the local repeater um, or uh, uh, what have you, and you'd like to get up and go do something, but you want to continue to listen in to what's going on, but your base station's right here and you can't just pick it up and go with you because it's connected and all that. And you thought, man, it'd be kind of cool if I could just listen on one device and relay it into my mobile device. Well, you could do that. But I didn't know that. I was talking to my Elmer the other day, AC4DM uh, Don, at uh, my club, and I was out at HQ doing some uh, projects with him, trying to learn as much as I can. And he goes, yeah, you can actually set up your HT to relay through your base station. And I thought, well, how cool. There's some really nifty options out there to remotely control your rig and things like that. But something as simple as being able to just relay your HT through your, your, uh, your base station so that uh, you could be somewhere else on your property, in the house, what have you, without it having to actually be down by your base station and still participate. So I thought, that would be cool. Now, you do need to follow your band plan for your area. There are certain frequencies that are set aside for this within, uh, uh, within your area. So make sure that either through your Elmer or through research you find out what those are. And of course, my Elmer knows all about that, so uh, I got those frequencies from him. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set that up. Now, you're going to need two radios. The two that I have will be for me. Obviously, if you've got these, great. If not, you'll just want to do a little bit of research into other base stations uh, as far as setting up cross-band repeating. Uh, but I'm going to show you on a Bofang, this guy right here, a very inexpensive radio uh, to get started in, especially when you're trying to hit repeaters. In fact, that HT right there was the one that I used for two meter uh, nets and so forth before I bought my FTM 400. And then I'll introduce the Yaesu FTM 400-XDR uh, as the base station. We'll show you a little bit of setup there. So I'll be right back to show you how to set up these two different radios to relay an HT through your base station. Be right back. Okay, we're back with our first piece of radio gear to set up, and that is the Bofung HT. Now, you can do this on just about any HT. This is what I have handy, and I have several of these, so this is, once you learn the menu, you can do it on all of them for these Bofangs. But in any event, my Elmer gave me some uh, frequencies. He uh, let me know, he gave me a, a, a band chart, and said, if you're going to use this cross-band repeater, you want to use something down around 440, or something up around 445. I chose to go with 445 in this case. Let me see if I can make this come up just a little better. Yeah, that blue uh, will get let you see it for a little while. Uh, but 445.775. So that's the frequency that I'm going to use between my HT and my base station. But there's a piece of etiquette here and proper procedure that we don't want to relay just anything through my base station back to the repeater. That's not proper utilization of uh, as an operator from my base station. So what I can do to exclude other communications relaying through my base station is to set up a tone on both transmit and receive uh, between the HT and the base station. So if we go into the menu you'll notice that I've got the transmit CTCS set up for a tone of 250.3 hertz. And if we come out of the menu, and I believe it's a down arrow, let's see here. There it is indeed. There's the RCTCS also set to 250.3 hertz. So both of these tones, both going and coming to and going from the HT, is going to exclude anybody else. Unless they were also on this frequency and also using that tone, they wouldn't be able to relay through my base station. So I've set up the HT for proper communication back to my uh, mobile base station. There isn't anything else in my area using 445.775 because based on the band plan, there's not supposed to be anything. It's strictly 
simplex. So let's switch over to the FT, uh, FTM400 and let's see how we would set up that radio to receive the HT communication and then relay that back to the repeater and then the return traffic will just traverse the other way around. So be right back and we'll present the FTM400-XDR. Okay, now we're on the FTM 400-XDR. This is the ASU base station that I use. This can be used mobily as well as a base station. Uh, my Elmer uses it for both. Uh, for me, it's my base station for the two meter nets and so forth that we do. And you'll notice I've got VFO or the bottom VFO uh, enabled currently. This would be VFOB. The top bar or top line would be VFOA. I've got VFOA, and I'll come back to that in a minute, set up for two meters back to the repeater, but I wanted to start on the 70 centimeters first, uh, which is the bottom here. And you'll notice I've got it on the same frequency that I had the HT, 445.775. Now the key here is that you want the radio, the HT, to communicate to the base station. And the one thing that I had to get out of the weeds on some of the documentation, it's just a little bit of research, was to make sure that I was not doing an offset on 70 centimeters. This is simplex between your HT and the actual base station. So I turned off any kind of offset. So you'll notice over here just underneath where my thumb is or my finger at this point that uh, I'm not doing any kind of offset right here. You'll notice two meters is still doing a minus offset uh, right underneath my finger, but uh, 70 centimeters is not. So simplex is what you want to be here. The next piece is we want to make sure that we're listening and transmitting the same tone that we set up on the HT and that's where I had to do a little bit of research because I had to add a button down here at the bottom. You notice this SQL, let me uh, tilt this just a little bit where you can see it better. The SQL transmit receive tone and so I had to click that uh, bring this button up so that it was actually shown and then you can actually go through a number of options here. I'm going to just go through these and then get back to where I need to be one more. There we go. So that means we're going to be transmitting uh, tone, um, both transmit and receive, with between the base, uh, the HT and the space station. Notice again, it's simplex 445.775, and we're utilizing that same 250.3 tone. Now you might be saying, well, okay, well you set it up to do the tone on both, but where did you set up the tone? Well, let's hold down the button over here on the right, the setup uh, button, and what we'll do is we'll go under signaling. All right, and all we'll do is we'll go up to the top and this is where you can set up your tone. So hopefully you can see that reasonably well here on the screen. So now my tone is set up for 250.3. And on the previous menu or back on the main screen, you'll notice that we're gonna tra transmit that tone, both transmit and receive. So that's a big part of it right there. So that's setting up the 70 centimeters part, but now we have to move up to the top part. Now, you can do this as a VFO, but you can also do this as uh, a memory, which in this case for me is a memory, uh, which my Omer helped, set up, helped me set up on this radio. And you'll notice I've got two meters. So what my mobile base station or what my base station is going to do, it's going to receive on 70 centimeters, but then it's going to transmit it back out on two meters to the repeater. Why? Well, I can take my HT anywhere in the house. I don't have to move my base station, number one. Number two, if I was in an area where I needed a stronger signal to reach the repeater, well, my HT is limited to maybe five watts or less. But my base station here, the FTM400-XDR, it can go up to, I believe, 50 watts. So this gives me more power to go out to the repeater uh, in case my HT is having a hard time making it to the repeater or I'm being uh, uh, I'm not, uh, unable to be heard very well due to too much static. So I'm going to be relaying through this base station. It's going to be a lot clearer, and I can be anywhere in the house with my HT, but I can leave my base station where it is. So you'll notice that I've got the two meters already set up. Now, we've got an offset we're also doing a tone to the repeater uh, for our area for uh, transmit. We also do one, if you wish, on receive. I think right now I've just got it on transmit. And in this particular instance, you'll notice that I'm at low power. If you look down here at the bottom, right now my transmit power is low. So, and I, it's because you always want to transmit at the lowest power uh, for proper etiquette to, to accomplish what you're trying to do with communication. So I only need low power. I've got a great antenna. If you guys haven't seen the Comet GP3, 
from the antenna series, go take a look at that. It's a great antenna. I've got that set up, and so I don't need a lot of power to reach my repeater, even though it's about 25 miles away. Low power will be fine. In fact, if I switch back to 70 centimeters, you'll notice that I'm doing low power here as well. Okay, so always use the lowest amount of power to achieve what you're trying to accomplish on these communications. Now we've got the band set up, two meters on top, 70 centimeters on the bottom. We're using tone both on the bottom, 250.3, and on the top, the tone for the repeater that we use for our club, which I believe is 77. But we're not quite done because right now the radio is set up to be either in VFO A or VFO B or VFO down at the bottom or a memory channel up at the top. How do we set up the FTM400-XDR to act as a relay? Well, that's the, the, the three-finger salute, or whatever you want to call it in this case, because it's not even documented in the, uh, in the manual. Uh, you can find this information, but it is something that's a little bit of a contortion. What you have to do is you have to shut down the radio. So let's shut down the radio. And what we're going to do is we're going to press these bottom three buttons. So my hand is going to get in the way, and you're going to hate this, but you have to press the display button over here, the F uh, button, uh, uh, MW button, and the GM button, the group messaging button. You have to press all three of those. So here comes the big hand, pressing all three of those and then turning this back on. Okay, so now that it's back, you can see that we have some new text on the screen. You'll also notice that VFO uh, A or B or even the, the memory channel, they're both kind of grayed out. So neither of them is primary like it would be normally. And you'll notice the text down here, TTRX X dash repeater. Now my base station is listening on 70 centimeters and it'll relay that back on the two meter band. Okay, and because I'm using tone, only my HT is going to be able to communicate back and forth between the two radios. So let's uh, uh, key my HT. This is KY4 BDP testing. And you'll notice there that it went, it came in on VFO, but it is actually utilizing the two meter band. Uh, to communicate with the repeater and if we had something to come back the repeater would come back on two meters But it would be relayed over to 70 centimeters There was somebody keying up on two meters and it just happened to key up on the HT This is KY4 BDP testing crossband repeater functionality So let's see if anybody comes back to me here Nothing coming back at the moment, but uh, we'll try a little bit later here and see if we can't get a repeat back. But that, my friends, is setting up your base station to act as a relay. In essence, like a repeater, and it's t uh, sending it to the 2 meter repeater in this case. So when you set this up, it needs to be 2 meter, 70 centimeter, or v reverse, but you need to be on two different bands for this to work. You don't want to use uh, the same uh, frequencies or the same band uh, for both simplex and for the uh, repeater part. So this is KY4 BDP. I hope this is kind of interesting. The setup for this is a little bit interesting because there's no direct documentation. If you go pick up uh, your uh, the FTM 400 uh, booklet, the product manual, nothing about this is in there. But uh, if you kind of search around or if you have an Elmer like I do, you can find this information or they can tell you about this information and then you can set it up on your radio. This is KY4 BDP Brian. I hope you've liked this video as it pertains to cross band repeating from an HT to your base station and back. Um, I thought it was a really interesting um, setup and I'm glad I have an Elmer that has that kind of information to impart upon me and others. And I wanted to capture that in a YouTube video so that you can kind of see it. Again, the equipment can be different. You'll obviously have to check out your particular base station to see if it'll uh, handle this kind of function. But if it does, why not give it a go? Give it a try. And if you've got the exact kind of setup here, or at least you have an FTM 400-XDR, some other uh, HT. The HT is really not the important part as long as it can send out a tone. Um, but uh, make sure you click on the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell once you're subscribed. Uh, give us a like. 
and put some comments down there. If this is the kind of content you would like to see, let us know. Uh, Chris and I, KY4, CKP and I, are uh, doing this for our club as well as to learn. To do the video, we have to learn how it works as well. So uh, let us know what you think about this particular video. So uh, I'm KY4, BDP Brian. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next uh, go around. 73s.